Hello, hello! This is a new React Native quick tutorial and today I wanna tell you how you can use Lodash in your project and don't blame yourself. I mean Lodash is definitely a very cool library, but the price for this library is a bigger bundle size. So in this video I'm gonna show you what happens with a bundle when you import Lodash functions, how to understand how much some import cost and how to cut this price. But before, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel and give this video a thumbs up, it really helps to make more videos for you. Let's start by understanding the size of the imported packages. We can do that by installing import cost extension or plugin, depends on what do you use for development, VS Code or, as in my case, IntelliJ IDEA. Not any specials for installing, so I'll just leave the link for that plugin in the video description. Let's jump to the example and see how it works. I have this small component, maybe in the future I'll add some extra examples about reducing bundle size, that's why I call this one as component with low dash. And let's imagine that I need get low dash function to show the backpage document ID. And I import that in a very classic way like this. Here you can see size calculated by plugin for this import. To show you difference not only in these numbers, when I'll use different approach, I want to create a bundle. I've added comments for that to package.json, so we need just to run bundle iOS script. Now I have my bundle file in the output folder. Let's commit that file because it will help to understand how does it change after optimization. Let's go back to import and change that import path to lodash slash get. As you can see, size is much smaller now, but let's create bundle one more time and check it with git diff. So looks like now our bundle doesn't contain unnecessary lodash function were added when I imported get function just from lodash. Also I need to mention about Babel plugin lodash that transform imports in the same way as I demonstrated, but it's pretty old library and looks like has some issue where people say that some lodash functions still in the bundle. Personally I prefer just import concrete lodash function because if you import just from lodash path you create a problem and after that you need additional package to fix that problem and you don't have a guarantee that plugin Plugin clean it up for hundred percent. Thank you for watching. Put in the comments what approach is better for you, and see you in the next videos.